Welcome to The Nail Engineer and today we have got a swatch -a for you of four gel bottle colours. Um, I've got 171, D14, these two are glitter polishes, um, this one's a diamond glitter, hence the D, 003 which is black and we've got Chameleon 05, otherwise known as Sonia, named after um, Sonny Williams or the artist formerly known as Sonny Stafford. So, let's get swatching. So first up, let's have a go of the black. And the reason I got this, um, I do already have like Madame Glam black, um, but the Madame Glam black can be a little bit wishy-washy. Um, and it can also be a little prone to wrinkling. Now, straight away, you can see I've got a strange consistency going on with this. So um, let's just have a little shake, shake, shake. And you can be forgiven for thinking I'm doing something else. But, uh, yes, I am almost at the point where I'm giving hand jobs for money, uh, but not those kind of hand jobs. Anywho, let's see if that has helped some. Yeah, that, that seems a bit better. It felt like there was like a, there were like kind of thinner bits and lumpier bits, but it is still very, very treacly. Um, but then again, it's one of the things that gel bottle ink colours are known for, for being that bit thicker than the rest. And that's why they go so opaque on the first coat. And that is really really super opaque so next up um we're gonna have a go with d14 which is a uh, pink diamond um and i got this actually to replace a, a rather cheap and cheerful um halo polish that i bought a while back that whilst being very pretty is also a bit lumpy and i don't know if you can uh, see very well there you know that you know, there's a problem when something's even lumpy on a, a pop. And I think it's because, um, I don't know, it's the, 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 the glitter doesn't seem to kind of like lay flat. Um, so you can see here, this is actually looking kind of similar to what the halo polish is. Um, but I'm hoping that unlike the halo polish, it will settle. Let's have a look and see how it goes on. Crikey me, this is chunky. So I'm thinking maybe it's better to kind of dab it a little bit. And then sweep over. And trust me, I've tried all sorts of stuff with the, um, with the halo polish, but just when you think it's okay, because it's really, really difficult as well to see when you're actually painting whether it's um, flat or not. And my issue is that like, I think, all oh, right, okay, it looks flat to me and I'll look at it every which way and, and such like. But then I'll get outside and I'm like, shit, I've got lumpy ass nails. Um, so my one tip to you is to point it towards the window and when you do that and you just look in like with daylight coming onto it, um, you can quite often see um, where there's some like kind of dings and divots in it. Um, but this looks to have settled quite nicely. Um, and obviously it's not opaque on the first coat. Um, but then again, I wouldn't necessarily expect it to be. Um, and there seems to be a nice mixture of, of glitter particle sizes, which is good because with the other one that I'm replacing, they all seem to be quite chunky and I think that's part of the reason why they can be a bit clumpy. Next up, um, we have got 171, which is a beautiful deep kind of olive green glitter polish. Um, this isn't one of the diamond glitters though, this is just a, a glitter polish. Um, so it's looking a little bit more sheer than most of the gel bottles that I've swatched. Um, however, it is a glitter polish and quite often I find with other brands as well, glitter polishes are like this. 
they're just a little bit kind of wishy-washy on the first coat um, and you're best off um, in my experience not trying to put them on too thick um, otherwise you can get problems with wrinkling because obviously you've got glitter particles in there that can inhibit the um, the curing so uh, yeah we'll see how this cures okay well my um, phone decided to um, refuse to save the video that I'd recorded of doing the first coat of um, Sonia Chameleon 05 um, so there it is once cured we're gonna go on to second coats now and I'll just whiz through these oh, the three black and yep like treacle very nice treacle and I'd be very surprised if this is not totally opaque on the second coat it does have like a kind of like a sticky quality to it um, but my main reason for wanting to get something different to Madame Glam is I have this terrible problem with Madame Glam in that whether you've got a light touch or um, or your heavy hand it doesn't seem to matter um, but Madame Glam perfect black seems to get bubbles in it so next up let's get um, some fluff on my green pop and a second coat of D14 on so on the second coat it does seem like the glitter does seem to kind of grab down obviously to the tacky inhibition layer a bit better um, maybe it would have been better if I'd like buffed my pop first um, However, I'm still getting kind of lumpiness. I would say that you just need to kind of be a little bit light of touch or maybe what's best to do is despite the fact that it comes off of the brush very thick is just to really give it a good kind of push down with your brush when you're putting it on just to make sure that you don't get any like lumpies. I would rather do more coats um, although I think that's that's looking fairly opaque to me um, oh no holding up to the light I can see that it, it does maybe need a third coat it'll just depend on you and how long your nails are and how visible a nail line that you've got and how opaque you want it to be and 171 for the second coat And this one is like I find a lot of glittery polishes are like it just seems to come right on the second coat and that's looking there uh, pretty pretty even and opaque to me not like lumpy or streaky or anything um, let's try second coat of chameleon hopefully my uh, camera won't eat this footage this time um, on the, the first coat I was having to be a bit careful because the um, all of the chameleon pigment was just kind of dragging to the end of the nail um, but yeah with the tacky inhibition layer it seems to be put, stay in put a little bit better um, and if you can just see in the light there how many different different colors I'll get pictures in daylight of this but this is really beautiful there's gold in there there's like a, a, a bright kind of rosy like a, a pinky red I would say um, there's green like there's an olive green but also there's like a, a, a forest or an emerald green depending on which way you turn it just so many colors it's really really nice and will definitely go lovely with some of the comedian pigments and flakes that I've got so just a side note on Sonia um, this is after two coats and I'm sure you can see through there that it is still quite sheer indeed um, I think that you could get away with um, fewer coats obviously if you use a base color same goes for um, D14 and 171. Um, D14 had so much glitter in it that you could probably get away with um, with two coats with it. Um, but I just personally felt that there were some bare areas around by the cuticle, and you can see here I'm still getting a bit of kind of bareness 
just here can you see there so um so yeah i i think maybe with these glittery ones you want to um save your polish and just give them underwear just give them something like coordinating like maybe a gold color or wear a cover nude builder underneath or with in the case of 171 you know like wear like a, an olive green cream underneath um, and then you'll probably get away with two coats so here are the finished pops um, and in the end I went for um, three coats of D14 but they weren't like super thick coats um, and I let them settle each time um, and they did actually settle um, on like the halo polish which tends to clump so that's very good so yeah three coats of that in the end and that's what it looks like against your skin tone and here it is with the halo polish so you can see that it's, it's a little bit more rosy um, next up we've got 003 which is the black and that was completely opaque on two treacly coats so hurrah um, that's definitely my new favorite black and next up we've got uh, 171 which is the lovely green glitter and I'll just hold that up so you can see against my skin tone it's just a really really nice kind of olive green um, and I do have like a, a similar Madame Glam polish called Shaky Grass and here they are side by side um, and however I just felt that this one like with with it being a little bit more kind of like deep and with more goldy flex was a bit more olivey um, so definitely worth adding to the collection and I haven't really seen anything on the Madame Glam site that looks this kind of shade they all tend to be like a bit kind of lighter than that so it's not exactly a summery shade um, certainly like more autumnal um, but very beautiful and then finally we've got Sonia here which I'll swizzle about so that you can see the different tones um, and in the end actually that was um, four coats on there for I wouldn't say that they were like gel bottle coats and um, gel bottle coats tend to be like a bit thicker um, and I did find that it clumped a little bit and was a bit patchy um, if I did like a gel bottle thickness um, so yeah I just stuck with um, four slightly thinner coats on this one um, but it is absolutely gorgeous so I'll get daylight shots and um, put them on the end of the video um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, thank you very much for watching and for excusing my uh, by now fairly rancid nails anyway thank you for watching I hope you found this useful and I will see you next time